Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Cravers. In today's video I'm gonna repair the joysticks on my Nintendo Switch Lite. Personally I think it's a great little console, however it's a shame that Nintendo went with such poor quality joysticks during its construction. As you can see my right joystick barely works so I'm gonna swap them out for this pair of hall sensor joystick that I got as a replacement from Gully Kit. Hall sensor joysticks are better because they last longer without breaking, give more accurate control and respond faster. They don't wear out like traditional joysticks since they don't have any moving parts. Plus they're more consistent over time and temperature changes. Their fast response time makes them great for gaming and other tasks needing quick reactions. You can purchase these replacement sticks with the necessary tools to open your switch and remove the parts. Or if you already have the tools like I do, you can buy them separately. I'll leave a link in the video description below where I bought my replacement sticks. The tools you need whether you already have them or want to upgrade to better quality ones include a pair of tweezers, a pry tool to open the plastic case and at least a 2mm Phillips and a 1.5mm Y00 precision screwdriver, as well as a special tri-wing screwdriver. However, it's recommended to invest in a kit like this one which contains all small screwdrivers that you might need. I'll leave a link to the tools down below as well. But now, let's jump into it. And before attempting any modifications on a Nintendo Switch or any other tech device, ensure that you turn it completely off before you start. This helps to avoid any potential damage or accidents during the process. Once you remove the first 8 screws, it's time to pry open your Nintendo Switch using a plastic pry tool. Be very gentle to avoid scratching the edges of your Nintendo Switch. I find it easiest to open the Switch by starting near the shoulder buttons and then work my way around. And here's the broken original joystick that we just removed, and here is the hall sensor replacement stick that we'll use instead. Say goodbye to stick drift forever. You can also get it in white, but I chose black to make it stand out from my other Switch consoles. However, you can always swap it out after installation if you prefer. Now we just reverse the disassembly process until we have completed the replacement of the left joystick. Then it's time to replace the right joystick as well. Unfortunately, it's a bit trickier, but we'll manage, don't worry. Once you finally manage to get the last screw back in for the left joystick, it's time to start removing parts to reach the right joystick as well. We'll begin by removing this large shield plate and then work our way through. There are more cables to detach here and more screws to unscrew, so it's crucial to follow a written guide closely. I will link to iFixit's guide down below. Thank you. 
Eventually you'll end up removing the heatsink as I'm doing here and it's a good idea to remove the old thermal paste, clean it up and apply some new paste since you're already here. However, in this brief time lapse I'm skipping that part. Finally we have reached the right joystick, so I'm removing it and swapping it out with my hall sensor replacement here as well. Then it's a fairly lengthy process to backtrack and reconnect all the cables and screw back all the screws again. And here's an important bonus tip. Once you have aligned the circuit board and snapped it back in place, screw one or two screws back in and flip over your switch to test the front facing buttons. You don't want to assemble your whole switch just to find out that one of the action buttons isn't working properly, forcing you to redo the whole process again. When your switch is reassembled and you have started it up, you will probably find out that your joysticks are working right off the bat. However, it's a good idea to go into settings and recalibrate your sticks to ensure optimal performance. And that's it for my brief time lapse of a hall sensor joystick modification for the Nintendo Switch Lite. If this video helped you out or if you just enjoyed watching it, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up and comment about your experience doing this. Or you can just ask me any questions if you plan to do this yourself. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Tech Cravers out.